Pakistanis joke that Pakistan is the 51st state of the USA. It does all of its bidding. In another prayer rug, a replica of the White House is embedded in a green niche with a blood red river. Uh, this is the White House, there's the river, flowing from the portals of the main entrance. Lewdness satires were not so much a condemnation of America as finger shaking at uh, Pakistan's government. Lubna and her parents, family, and her own family were avid readers of world literature, including Pakistan literature, past and present. <coughs> she returned to uh, Pakistan literature uh, during this time in Boston and put her attention on Sufi mysticism. And her paintings began to reflect the spiritual message um, of that esoteric, esoteric Islamic sect. The soft blue light marking the perimeter of 20 doors could be the light of God shining through the barrier of the profane world. The painting is simultaneously two and three dimensional. It contains Sufi mysticism and Mughal Islamic architecture. Sanctuary, on the right-hand side, refers to purda screens in mosques and mobile palaces that allowed ladies to see out, but hid them. The red color signifies anger at being held in and an imposition of restraint. Birds flying in the uh, windows in the sky, seen through the blue windows, offer a sense of hope for the future freedom and a breath of fresh air. In her present artistic reincarnation, <coughs> Lubna returns to geometry. The solidity and the dramatic color of Islamic architecture is the inspiration. Lubna took hundreds of photographs in Morocco in 2004 when uh, Yusuf was invited to teach at Al Ahlan University. They traveled to Casablanca, Marrakesh, Fez, Fez, and other places. And the next year, they went to Turkey and Lubna rediscovered the elegance and the dignity of Islamic architecture. On her return uh, to Boston, she reviewed her photographs and she recalled the crenellated arches, the domes, the pillars of mosques and palaces. These became the artistic challenge for a fresh vision in her art. In the Morocco craft shop, Lubna found an eight-sided wooden riad. A structure that you put on the ceiling uh, from which to hang a, a chandelier. She bought it, she got it back to Boston, and then meticulously painted uh, this riad with thousands of tiny dots. The niche like paintings were inspired by windows in Islamic architecture, as well as the mirror wall uh, in a mosque that indicates the direction of Mecca for which. Uh, Worshippers will direct their prayers. The pillar on the right hand side that sparkles in sunlight conjures the intricate patterns of Mid Eastern pillars as well as the heat that permeates the atmosphere in those countries. A grouping of pillars, which we have in the um, gallery here, becomes an abstraction, doubling as candles, the only source of light when the mosques and palaces were originally built. The Rahel is a book holder for the Quran. Here, as in other uh, creations that you'll see in the gallery, the labor-intensive process of applying dots and tiny dashes was conscious effort to emulate repetitive action of the craftsmen producing these, uh, their wares. It was the rhythmic beat of the hammer of an ironsmith, the chisel marks of a stonemason, or the sawing and sanding movements of the carpenter. These actions were relived with each dot and each brush stroke. Lubin's artistic evolution has been an ongoing unfolding of her personal interest, a reflection of her interaction with her place in the world.
She moved from realism to abstraction to non-figuration, back to realism, then to abstraction again. Her art is held in public and private collections in America, in Europe, and, of course, in Pakistan. I think that her career, her artistic inclinations, are those of a most eminent artist. And now I give you Lydia uh, for you to...